you should never date an ex like you broke up for a reason don't go back unless keep watching to find out when it's okay to break that rule and why you should do it hey it's kyla denanyo and you're watching kyla's reading day today we're talking about the book first love take two the book was written by sanji patel the genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is romantic or literature. So as you know by now, I choose all of my books by their covers. Sometimes I get in trouble with that. Most of the time it works out. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, first love takes two. You got two people sitting on the couch, really, really cute. They're actors or there's actresses or they're, they're play, they're, you know, playwrights or any anything to do with acting because of the whole take two and then I'm like or it could just be that they're together again oh yeah take two like it's a second chance let's just see right but I'm excited so the big plot twist in this book was when Preeti who's the main character decides that she is not going to tell Daniel why they broke up years ago so as you can guess from the title, they get a second chance at being together. They were first loves. And Preeti is Indian American and she has all of these cultural responsibilities on her where she has to marry the right person. Her family believes in arranged marriages, so she's trying to fight that. And then she has a lot of religious restrictions as well. And so she falls in love with this guy and we find out that they're not still together, but they have the same circle of friends and they run into each other and it's just like, he never knew why they split up and he's been upset about it for a number of years and she keeps saying I gotta tell him, gotta tell him, gotta tell him. Well she doesn't. She doesn't tell him until literally like five pages until the book ends. And I am so frustrated reading the book because it's a common ploy in writing where you have to create the miscommunication and that causes there to be conflict but I'm like pretty tell him, tell him, <laughs> tell him. As an outsider looking in, tell him. It will it will solve so many things, right? But of course, in real life, at real time, you're not doing those things the way you should. You are, you're missing clues, you're missing signs, right? She's engaged to be with someone who wants her to cook every day, but she's a medical doctor. And it's like, I don't have time for that. And why can't we both cook together? Meanwhile, the love of your life is basically a chef. Come on. These are big signs, <laughs> but these are things that people like to overlook. Oh, the cooking's not a big deal. Well, it's not, but the compatibility and the expectation part of it makes it a big deal, right? Sounding, sounding kind of wise to be married almost three years. But yeah, so I'm watching from the outside and I'm like, oh, there's, there's a lot of things to me that are not huge, huge deal breakers. But if you saw them or if you allowed an outsider to look you would see that it has more to do with how you guys are just incompatible. So, but I was cheering for Preeti and Daniel and that is one of the things that made the book so important to me because I'm reading it and I was like, okay, they got a second chance. This is kind of cute. And I say that because my husband and I actually dated two times before we got married. And that's because that's because every time we got back together, at least six or seven years had passed. And so we were so we were drastically different people from when we were together the last time. And there was something too, just being like, wow, I still love you. I still compare everybody to you. Let's go get some ice cream and see. <laughs> and it worked, right? So it, it was cute. It was cute, even though I didn't know what quite to expect from First Love Take Two. I would not reread this book, but, and this is a new one. I would recommend this book to other people I know. People that are dating, people who want to date, I would definitely recommend this book to them because there was a lot of relationship and communication things going on in the book and it was presented in a really cute and digestible way that I would definitely share this with other people and probably even like want to have a discussion with people about the book. So that was my discussion of the book First Love Take Two. Really cute read and just changing things up doing some romantic books after all the suspenseful and thrilling books I've been reading lately. So let me know if you've read anything by the author Sanji Patel. Let me know what you're reading this week. I'm always reading something else. <laughs> so if you're still watching, thank you. I appreciate it. And I will see you next week on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.